Pastor John? Can we get a camera on this beautiful group of children? Can we get one of these fancy schmancy cameras on these guys? Look at these kids. Wow. Aren't they beautiful? I want you to raise your hands, guys. Well, I'm going to have a question, a couple questions, so don't just blurt it out. But uh, who's seen The Wizard of Oz? Can I see your hand if you've ever seen The Wizard of Oz? It's like eight hours long, right, if I remember right? Okay, put your hand down. Wizard of Oz. And in The Wizard of Oz, Dorothy dreams of going to special, wonderful places. And she goes to a special place, right? That place called Oz. But she eventually realizes that there's a better place there. And she clicks her heels together and she says something. What does she say? When she clicks her heels together. Anybody know what she says? Where, what does she say? There's no place like... Raise your hand. What is it? There's no place like home. For her, she dreamed of wonderful places, but she realized after being in a wonderful place, there's really no place like home. I have been to some fantastic places since I've been a Christian. It's been the greatest adventure of my life. I have been in China and dealing with the underground church, the church that's heavily persecuted, heavily attacked. God is blessing them in mighty ways. I've walked on the Great Wall of China. It's a great place. It's a wonderful place. I've been in Israel. I've been on the same sea where Jesus was, where His disciples were, the Sea of Galilee. I've been to, to Russia. I've been to South America, Central America. I have been to some special, special places. But do you know what? There is one place that we are heading for, that God wants us to head for, that's better than any place you've ever been. Let me ask you where you've been. What's the most special place you've ever been? Has anybody been to the Grand Canyon? You guys been to the Grand Canyon? Pretty cool. How about Yellowstone? Anybody been to Yellowstone Park? Okay, where else have you been that's just awesome? Where have you been? At the beach. At the beach. <laughs> wow. Where have you been? SeaWorld. SeaWorld's pretty cool. At the, At the beach. Yeah, now everybody wants we have to put sand down here next time for you guys. Where have you been? Disney World. I've been there. I got tired. And broke there, but that was good. But but my kids would say, "Well, you where have you guys been? Special place? Anybody anywhere else?" Myrtle Beach. Now we're getting specific on the beach. I'd like to go to Myrtle Beach. Where have you been? To the fair. How about that? How about that? I want to use him for my speech sermon on contentment. Right there. <laughs> Hawaii. Yeah, how can we go without Hawaii? Listen, kids. There is a place that all Christians are heading that Jesus wants us to focus on. And He says it's better than any place we've ever been. And I'm going to preach on this place today. A little bit about this place. The disciples were very, very sad when Jesus said He was leaving the earth. And He didn't want them to be sad. They were sad because he said, troubles are coming. There's going to be some problems. Even in our own group, some people are going to fail from our own disciples. Even Peter will deny me. There's going to be troubles. There's going to be problems. There's going to be confusion in this world, all caused by Adam's sin. But he says, I don't want you to be troubled, for I'm going to go and prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again to receive you to myself, that where I am, you will be also. Now, it's hard for even adults to realize this. We, all of us have been to special places, but there is no place like home. And home for the Christian is heaven. And we need to realize while we're going through this old world with all its troubles and bumps and disappointments, that there is a better place, a place that we can't even imagine with our eyes. By faith, we believe it's greater than Disney World, it's greater than Hawaii, it's greater than even the fair. But that's where we're going. And adults, you need this message too. We all need this message. This is a discouraging world and we need to be heavenly minded people. You will not be disappointed in that great place called heaven. 
And that is our eternal home. Let's pray. Let's all bow our heads. Father, thank you for these children. And they are so young and they've got dreams and ambitions and places they want to go and things they want to see. But I pray that they would know Jesus. That they would be forgiven by Jesus. And that they would long and anticipate and imagine that wonderful heavenly home. That eternal home. And I just pray that today you will help us to remember this place. To remember your promises, O oh Lord. And to be encouraged by them. If we take our eyes off of you and off of heaven, it will be so troubling. But I thank you for the life in these children. Thank you for their eyes, their heart, their energy. And I pray that they will not only go to heaven because of their faith, but they will tell others how to get there. Thank you for the most wonderful place that you've prepared for us. Six days you made this universe. Two thousand years you've been working on that place. I can't wait. Thank you for the promise of heaven. That promise will get us through these problems.